What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Devin Coates. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Um, obviously, I'm in a slightly different locale. I'm trying to find a good shooting location. But today, this is about the importance of money. The first thing I want to start off with is that I'm not saying to um, cut out the other areas of your life. Definitely focus on the other areas of your life. Those are very important. But money is very, very important. I definitely urge you to not let the other areas of your life uh, fall by the wayside. Health and relationships are very important. Relationships are super important. Might be even uh, more important than money in the long run. So money doesn't buy happiness. I'm not trying to say that. But money does kill anxiety. And money is how I like to view it. It's like oxygen. You know, I've heard this said a bunch of times. It's like oxygen. You know, when you have enough of it, you're not really thinking about it. But when you're restricted of oxygen, you know, that is the first thing you're looking for is to take that next breath. But first thing is that it's purpose and being productive. So uh, I think we're naturally hardwired to want to be productive. Being productive is actually what makes us happy. Um, money is just really the reward that our society is giving um, people that are productive in this day and age. Just when you trade things, I mean, if you look back, the reason why money was created was that, you know, trading a chicken for a goat and you try to scale that out, that's just not a scalable option. So that is the, the reason why money being created was created. And it really just represents group production and it's a reward for being a productive person in society. The next thing to think about, and this is directly uh, related to money itself, is that, and this is why I find it very important, and a lot of people my age, I wasn't really brought up on all of these ideas. These are things that I've kind of grown to just see, is that money determines a lot of things. In my personal life, uh, I feel like money has determined why I've moved. Um, I moved over about, I think over 10 times before I graduated high school. I was in a bunch of different places, a lot of different school systems. I was always switching different friend groups. And it left me with um, uh, just kind of an unstableness in terms of uh, what, what school I was going to go to one year and then what high school I was going to go to the next year. And it caused a lot of anxiety, a lot of pain in my childhood years because um, we didn't always have enough money or we didn't have enough money at one year so we're living in not a great place and then we want to buy a new place and we don't have enough to just have absolute choice but the new place is in another township so uh, that was something that I went through but you also have to think about the future because this is where um, a lot of people get caught up and I think this is the middle class trap this is what is sold to us and as you can see behind me playbook to millions um, Grant Cardone is somebody I listen to if you, if you pay attention to him he always talks about the fact that uh, the middle class is a trap and that's just having enough to get by you know breaking even a business that breaks even is gonna go under um, but in your life you can break even and feel like you're getting by but at the end of the day you don't know what's gonna happen you know in 08 09 a lot of people had some great jobs got laid off and were put in some very dire circumstances that um, for the most of the people viewing probably my channel they're not in that situation where they even had an, as much as those individuals that were hurt so super by um, the recession in 0809. I know that was in America. I think it was a worldwide thing. I'm not as familiar with the effects um, outside of the states. But every about seven to 10 years, seven, eight, nine years, there is a crash. That is like the cycle of economies. That's what's happened. If you do the math, 2017 and 08, we are due um, for another crash in the very near future in the next. Um, months to years it's it's something that's going to happen so if you're just getting by what if you're put in a position where the economy drops unemployment raises and some um for some unforeseen circumstance i don't know what it's going to be but you know you're in an economic recession where you're not making the same amount of money and you have to survive for a year or two on um a very way smaller income or a whole different situation you know what are you going to do then if you're just making enough right now what happens when you know you get older I'm a young man at this point but um, you know when you get older and you have a child and your child gets sick and their sickness is not actually covered by insurance or for some reason there is not really a great insurance plan that's in um, in effect at that time you know you have to pay all out of pocket but you're just making enough so um, what are you gonna do when that happens what about for your parents or other family members, you know, they didn't really plan for their retirement properly. You know, they bought into this middle class myth and they're, they're living 20 years longer than their retirement. 
are you gonna just let them kind of fall by the wayside? I feel like you have an oblig obligation to yourself foremost, to your family, to the people that care about you, to the people that depend on you, to the people that will depend on you in the future, to be as successful as can be. Money is a great representation in this country and I use great as not a, a measure of whether it's good or bad. I mean, it's a big representation of what you can do to protect, provide, and support the people that are depending on you. So there's tons of unforeseen circumstances that can happen that you're not aware of. So you don't know what enough is. So first thing was production. Number two is breaking down the idea that enough is enough or you even really know what enough is and I, I speak to that to the majority of people i mean if you're making a hundred million a year and you're living a pretty uh modest lifestyle to that number i mean you might have enough you might if you have a hundred million in a bank you might have enough you know what enough is to you might be right but i don't think the average person i know i'm not in that situation i'm living paycheck to paycheck at this moment um but i'm always striving for more because i know that that isn't enough you know there's people that i know i'm even friends with that in the position that i'm in currently they wouldn't understand why like i feel an insecurity with how much i'm making and the production that i have at this moment because i need to make it bigger um because there is going to be a time where you know just just scraping by every week is not good enough and in any business if you're scraping by every week and anything happens your business goes under. So think about the business of you and the fact that you don't want that to go under. Something that's just particular to my channel and the audience that I feel like I've gained, uh, there's one video in particular that um, a lot of my subscriber base came from and that is the RSD bootcamp video. Um, just a quick um, preface on that. I did remove uh, that video and I'll just briefly kind of give an explanation why number one is because i wouldn't recommend the product uh after thinking about it after thinking about what i wanted to get in, out of it i felt like um at the price point the value was severely um under what i paid i mean they have other products that i have done uh like the hot seat at home that i felt like was marked at a more uh, appropriate price but the boot camp i wouldn't recommend that product to anybody besides people that maybe have very serious life circumstances where you know they need somebody to like teach them how to kind of like interact with like other people but if, if that's not the case of where you're at um i didn't really feel like it helped in terms of keeping a consistent action so number one i wouldn't recommend the product number two since i wouldn't recommend the product i didn't feel like i really bashed the whole product if anybody wants my opinions feel free to reach out i'm more than happy to uh explain my experience but i didn't i don't build um things out of hate i don't piggyback off of other people especially when it's not in a positive light i didn't feel like i was bashing i felt like i was very honest about my review um at that point the day after but um i wouldn't recommend it i didn't think it was very worth it i didn't feel like my instructor uh provided the value that was promised and i don't want to build up um a hateful group of uh of people i don't want that to be the image and that being my most popular video at that point it wasn't a positive message it was basically don't do it so i don't i didn't want to build it on that i don't feel like i need to piggyback off something i think i have some real value um that can be added and um i'm kind of digressing on that point uh but basically what i'm getting at is that you know i think a lot of people and as a young person young man or woman obviously relationships um sex and things like that are obviously of utmost important and I want you to kind of imagine for a second. So number one, I want you to understand that I still believe that cold approach, um, definitely for men uh, that are watching this, uh, is the most effective and basically a rudimentary skill that you need in dealing with relationships, um, especially intimate relationships and things of that sort. So having the ability to drop in on a person, honestly, regardless of what it is, and that's what uh, me doing sales currently, that's really what I'm learning in that arena. But being able to drop in on a person, um, express what you want, 
um, and get what you want out of the situation and not necessarily in just a takeaway, but um, be able to, to communicate to somebody what you want, see if they want it to, and be able to either network, um, get a friendship, get an intimate relationship, whatever you're looking for out of the situation, great, um, gain a partnership. Um, you need to have that ability to socialize with new people and drop in into situations and, and produce yourself. So I'm not diminishing that skill at all, but imagine for a second the lifestyle you could build if you had um, an abundance of money around at any given point in time. That lifestyle that you create, imagine somebody like, uh, I know if you're watching YouTube, you guys have to have seen Ty Lopez every fucking video. If you have any of his Snapchats, he has beautiful women around him all the time. He very openly, he hires models. That's not something open, it's on his site. But um, the return he's getting is probably at the end when it breaks, he's at least breaking even if not making more money off of having that. But he's in a situation where there's beautiful girls around him in everyday life. When he's lifting weights, when he's uh, doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, he's teaching them and doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with them. He's going out to just random dinners. They're, probably, they're going out to movie nights inside of his house um, and things like that. If you have those situations and those situations are following you, I mean, obviously you want the skill to do cold approach, but I mean, there's not, you don't really have to go out and get what you need. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not saying that wait till you get all the money before you start trying to like fucking get girls and shit like that. I think that would be retarded and at the end of the day, I really, I mean, I've been pretty much broke my whole life and I've never needed money to get any of the girls that I've ever gotten with and I'm sure they would attest to that because they probably paid more <laughs> in terms of uh, little, literal financial investments um, in the relationship. I, don't, I can't really remember a situation where I was like paying for a girl like in extensive amounts, but I digress once again. Creating that kind of lifestyle and having very beautiful girls around you in everyday situations is something that would make that situation so much easier. So in terms of where everybody came from, I mean, cold approach is something you wanna learn and on the weekends and during your everyday life, obviously um, work on that craft, work on that skill and, and, and hone it and sharpen uh, your ability. But if you get money along with that, you're a fucking dope dude that goes for what he wants and then you have money around it. Imagine the fucking lifestyle you have. Imagine the people be around you and not, now I'm talking about girls just because of that RSD video where a lot of people came from, but imagine the opportunities, the friendships you'll have, the people you'll be hanging out with, the things you'll be able to do. Um, uh, and, and money really is the thing that breaks down the barriers that uh, uh, makes it be a limitless opportunity. And Ty Lopez is one person, but uh, somebody I like a lot, my favorite um, rapper and artist right now is Drake. I mean, look at his fucking life. I mean, he doesn't have to, no, I mean, he's different. He's a celebrity and he's fucking known worldwide, but I mean, do you think he ever has to like fucking go to a bar or a club and fucking uh, approach every single girl and just do millions of sets? I mean, he can fucking, he can meet a girl doing whatever, call her up and fly somewhere else, call her up. He has, has a line. He's like, if I like her, I just fly her to the city I'm in. I got a drinking with your boy, I got a fucked up shorty. Oh yeah. Imagine if you had that type of lifestyle. And that's really what I'm looking to build is I want to be able to, one, provide for my family and myself. Um, then two, I want to be able to feel like anything in this world can happen but i will always be fine my family will always be fine we, we have an unshakable core economically but then also i feel like i want to have a lifestyle that's congruent to who i view myself as um and i'm pulling in people that i feel like are at the same caliber and playing at the same level as me and i i mean maybe i'm wrong but i don't think if anybody is viewing this channel a channel that is dedicated to designing a life of intent designing a life that is specifically tailored to you. I, I really doubt that any of you guys view yourselves as like a fucking bum. Or you view yourself as like uh, somebody that's just, you know, I'm just broke. Like that's just something I don't, I, I don't have and I don't deserve. I'm not worth it. If you don't view yourself like that, then create the situation where you have it. Don't deny that that's something you want. Because I know I hear that from a lot of people around my age, especially I'm about to be 25 on the 15th of January. Um, 24 right now. I uh, hear that from a lot of uh, my peers. I hear it from people older than me. I've heard it growing up through um, older family figures, adult figures, and 
I just, at the end of the day, I think money is very important. It determines a lot of things. It's not everything, but you know, when you hear people saying money is not everything, well, what's your fucking point? You know, you know, working out ain't everything, but it's important. You know, food isn't everything, but it's important to live. Water isn't everything, but you need it to live. But like, you, what, what's your point? Like, you're trying to success isn't everything. What are you trying to diminish? what money has to do and the people that are saying that kind of stuff don't have money and they're just trying to make an excuse for the inadequacies that they've either built in their life or in the past i mean very past very truly were their limitations especially i mean in this country for people that look like me i mean you go back 200 years i mean there's not the same opportunity but nowadays there is tons of opportunity tons of opportunity for everybody Inter the internet is the great equalizer and at the end of the day i mean in your day-to-day -day life and when you go through the court system when you go through like the judicial system i know here if you, you get stopped by a police you know maybe those kind of things race comes together but when you are going to the fucking marketplace when you go to the fucking economy the only money they care about is green and the only thing they care about is value. Those are the two things. If you provide value and um, if you provide value and then if somebody wants to get that value, they have the green. Those are the only two things that matter. It don't matter what you look like, where you're from. If you can give somebody something that's going to help them, they do not care what you look like. If you can give somebody a fucking job and, and employment, imagine that power. You know, you have the money to give somebody a salary. Like, think about those things. And those are the things that are on my mind. And, 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 and the dreams I have. So I just wanted to drop this in, especially for people around my age. And um, when you're hitting that kind of quarter life crisis, which I think I'm going through now, you know, you just start to really think about what do I need to do? What are the routines I need to make? And what do I need to focus on? And money is one of them. And I really believe in the good life by Ty Lopez. Um, but if you can get your wealth, health, love, and happiness correct, then you will be um, good. But it's all, all of those things and wealth creating wealth is a pillar to creating success and, and ultimately feeling that happiness so i'm gonna end it with that thanks for tuning into the channel it's your boy devin coates i'm gonna really try to stick to this posting schedule like the button it doesn't take anything to like the video i mean if you liked it just click the like button please leave some comments below subscribe if you're not a subscriber it doesn't do anything you will not regret it I mean, what are you going to regret? You're going to get all the posts when I do this. I'm making it better every day. Look at my older videos. I'm sure this is a higher quality and higher standard. And imagine where I'm going to be a year from now. And you guys are watching it happen. You know, I don't have it perfect. I'm telling you, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I have a nine to five job. And that is not what I want five years down the road. So I'm going to make it happen. And I want you guys to be there on the journey with me. If uh, you guys have your different things that you want to post, different ideas you want me to bring up, please post them in the comments. But I'm out right now. I'm going to take care of some other things. But thanks a lot for tuning in. Peace.